a lot of women are blaming it on the fact that, well, there was no man around. And it's like, but could there have been a man around, but you weren't prioritizing that? Is it a chance? And I'm speaking to the ladies who have never been married. Is it a chance that you could have had a man around? You just simply didn't prioritize it. Because just like Ayala said, you were being trained and groomed to live a certain way and have a certain lifestyle. And you thought you had to do it all on your own. So you set out to do that and you prioritize that. That became your priority. Now, to be honest, like Vince said last week's show, you just ain't really got time for a man. You're too independent. You're operating from a scarcity mindset. Scarcity, like how we gonna live, how I'm gonna live. So this need for you to, you know, be the, the aggressor and be in that seat, like she said in, in an interview, is coming from a place of fear, control, and survival. I had to look at my note. Couldn't I couldn't I couldn't remember the last one. A survival. And if and if and, and as women, if we were honest, we would say that's what a lot of our problem is. Well, I have a question. We're, so, we're afraid. But see, that comes from us not having a covering. That's what a man does. He's your covering. So you don't, you wouldn't have to be out here afraid and in survival mode. Because that's what that that's what a man is supposed to do. You're supposed to be able to relieve that burden. That's a burden that you weren't even built to carry. You just weren't built to carry it. We are emotional creatures but in nature. We're nurturers. We're not supposed to be carrying that burden. That's not even supposed to be our worry. We have other things we're supposed to be focused on that take up plenty, plenty of our energy. It's not supposed to be that, though. She and Yala calls it us creators. I like to call us, you know, more of multipliers for me. Like we grow, we we grow things, we we multiply, we add to, right? Men build, but we've become the builders. Now we want to build. We're supposed to build with. We're not the builders. And I feel like that's that's what we'll have somebody say, no, I want to date, I want I want date a bus driver because once again, she's still operating from that survival scarcity mindset. Will it be enough? We're gonna do what happens here when, when this happening, but what when that happens? What if he's the right kind of man, bus driver or not? You are not going to have to worry about that. Stop worrying about things and trying to carry things that are too heavy for you. Then we get mad at the world because we in that situation. And we just, we just talk, I mean, men are talking to women so bad, like, and women, we talking to men so bad. Our language is like, it's crazy the way we talk about men. Like, like it's, it's mad disrespectful. Like women, I'm talking to women because I'm a woman. Like we have just got mad disrespectful with the way we talk to men. Like the disrespect is on a whole nother level. And men's love language is respect. A man's love language is respect. And the very first thing we do as soon as we get a chance is we disrespect them because we know it. We know, we know they operate off respect. So the first thing we do is disrespect them. And ladies, y'all know I'm telling the truth. That's real. That's and real. And then we'll That's turn real. around and say, well, I just haven't found a man. You sure? You sure you haven't found a man? Or were you not prioritizing a man? Or did you just see that man was right there and you just...